Have you enjoyed the thrill of flight? This is an exciting time in American Ski Jumping. It's simple, really. Nothing is more thrilling and captivating than the sport of ski jumping. The joy can come on any size hill or from any distance. If you dream of this, the time is now. USA Ski Jumping presents the Virtual National Championships, starting now. Hi, I'm Greg Winsberger from Shoreview, Minnesota, member of the Minneapolis Ski Club. My longest jump was 479 feet, 146 meters in 1974 at Planica, Yugoslavia. I put my right foot forward in my landing. Judge number two from the U.S. Ski Jumping Team, Nick Farrell, shown here in this extraordinary jump from Planica. I'm Blake Hughes, coach of USA Ski Jumping. I'm from Park City, Utah. My longest jump was 139 meters, and I used to put my left foot forward in my landings. Judge number four, two-time U.S. Olympian, Peter Frenette. Right foot forward. Hey everybody, this is Clint Jones. I'm originally from Steamboat Springs, Colorado, and now I live in Park City, Utah. And I always land with my left foot forward in Telemark. Judge number six, Bini Norkic from Kron, Slovenia, U.S. international coach. Left foot forward. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2014 U.S. Virtual Ski Jumping Nationals. I'm Peter Graves alongside Olympian Jeff Hastings, and we're ready to go. Let's take a look at the starting order of the U-12 girls. We'll have Elsa Bollinger out of Ford Sayre Ski Club in New Hampshire, Madeline Zuckerman, also from Ford Sayre, Adeline Swanson, St. Paul, Minnesota, Cora Ridingsward out of Salisbury, Connecticut, Annika Belshaw of Steamboat Springs, Colorado, Sophia Reynolds of Andover, New Hampshire, and Charis Franks out of the Norgi Ski Club. And Jeff, let's get to the action now. We've seen some great jumping in these competitions. All right, our first jumper, Elsa Bollinger at Ford Sear under the lights in New Hampshire, Jeff. On that 30 meter, the Roger Burt Hill. Wow. Skis came high, she handled it no problem though. Seemed to be sitting well. And timing seemed to be pretty good. Yep, got it well right on the end there. The arms are quiet there. And then she starts to think about that right ski came high, but she held right with it. It's a long jump. All right, a beautiful snow here and around the country. And we'll take a look at the marks coming up for Elsa. 82.5, good enough to put her into first place at the moment. And now, Madeline Zuckerman, also for the Ford Sayre Ski Club. Here she is at the top, and she's got the green light. Skiing at the Andover Hill, that 18 meter, it's always well kept. Whoa! Right down. She landed like a ton of bricks there. She was coming in from so high. Very nice. Good in run. It is really nice to see the back so flat, the head low right there. That helps everything go forward. She comes up, she gets so much height. Look at the flex in the ski as she landed. Needed strong legs to hold that one. And here we get second place, 81.2 meters for Madeline Zuckerman. We'll continue on with our next athlete. This is Adeline Swanson from St. Paul, Minnesota. And in Adeline, we see a U10 who made it in the U12 division. She's the third seed for the Central. But she was so strong all season in both the U10 and the U13. Oh, she likes that one. That's great to see. Let's watch it again in instant replay. This is a big hill for a U10 to be skiing on, and Adeline handles it like a pro. Could be a little bit more aggressive on the takeoff, but so quiet in the air, so poised in the air, clearly a great athlete. All right, and well done, and she is very happy with her efforts. And the mark's coming up here in our virtual national championships. And here they go, 80.8. At the moment, good for third place. And now we'll go up to our next athlete. This is Cora Ridingsworth, coming out of Salisbury, Connecticut. And Jeff, look at that. Yeah, just like her sister, <laughs> submitting the hoop of fire from the Lebanon Outing Club. 
Timing looked pretty darn good there, given that you got a hoop of fire that you have to sneak under. Tendency here is to go late. You don't want to jump up into that dangerous flame. Cora really punched her ticket by winning the last event in Lake Placid. So she has won. Did a great job sneaking through that hoop. All right. Well, Cora looking very, very good here with the jump at Lebanon, New Hampshire. We'll get the distance here in a moment. There are distinguished panel of judges. They rate her in fourth place at the moment, 76.5 total points for Cora. And now we'll move on. Annika Belsha from Steamboat Springs Winter Sports Club. And this should be exciting. Each of the first seeds from each division won multiple times. Annika won all four of the Western competitions. Well, oh, you can see why they're a V style like you can't believe. And right to the bottom of that hill. We've seen nice jumps on this hill. It's the Park City Hill. The kids obviously like it. She does a great job kicking those legs hard, getting the skis out to the side, a nice V style. Did everything she could to hold on to that. Clearly another great athlete out there. We're seeing great athletes in this U12 girls division. So exciting and 90.5. That's going to be good for first place at the moment. We've got another athlete coming up though. This is Sophia Reynolds from the Andover Outing Club in New Hampshire. The top seed from the East, she won four times. She was a buzzsaw, nobody could stop her. Whoa, strong on the end. I keep on saying it again and again. These kids know how to kick the end of the takeoff. The U12 division, girls division looking so strong. There she goes, used the upper body just a little there because she just wanted to pop it so badly and it flew well for her. All right, Sophia Reynolds at the Andover Outing Club, which has turned out a lot of Olympians over the years. And for Sophia, fifth place, 80.2 total points in our virtual nationals. And now we go on to Cheris Franks out of the Norgi Ski Club in Chicago under the lights. Strong from the takeoff and a telemark landing. Cheris skied in five events. She won all five of them. There's nobody in Central that's going to stop her. The question is whether she can be best in the nation now. Leaves her arms behind, kicks hard with those legs, and finishes it off nicely. Right foot forward. A little bit of a bobble coming through the transition, but nice strong jump for Miss Franks. All right. A beautiful jump indeed. Very quiet in the air. And that's going to be second place. 89.2 total points for Cheris Franks. And now... Here are the final standings of the U12 girls. Annika Belsha from Steamboat will take it, 90.5 total points, followed by Cheris Franks at 89.2, and Elsa Bollinger from Ford Sayre Ski Club. Well, congratulations to all of our skiers, and thanks for joining us, everybody. You're watching the virtual U.S. Ski Jumping Nationals.